Hello everybody, welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Tormented Souls Blind. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed the game last episode, got stuck on the very first puzzle, um, which is fine. I now know that puzzles are not going to be very easy in this game. Um, it kind of threw me off guard a little bit, and I got stuck for about half an hour and had to look at a guide, but um, I will definitely try not to look at a guide again. I just thought, I don't know, maybe it was bugged or I don't know. Anyway, it caught me off guard. I'm not used to uh, games having relatively abstract puzzles or hints within puzzles like this. It's been a long time, guys. Anyway, I'll do my best not to look at a guy. Let's carry on. So we, we met the priest guy who seemed to be completely oblivious to anything that's going on. Uh, we also learned that even though we got plenty of ammo, we don't anymore because these uh, uh, mobs take up a lot of... Um, a lot of nails um so what we need to we've opened the electronic locks and i think we need to make our way to the library on the second floor uh, but before we do that i think we need to go to the maternity ward if i have a look at the map yes yeah, so we need to go to the maternity ward i don't know what c stands for um and then maybe the newborn room this is going to be creepy and we need to go upstairs anyway Oh, this is creepy. Right, so can we do anything with this? Because we've got this. Whatever this is. It doesn't fit. Okay. Well, it should fit. It's got a hexagonal structure. We need to find something else. I should just mention I'm not very DIY savvy, so... Oh, there's this lock. Where does this take us? Okay, that's where it takes us upstairs, so we don't want to go there just yet. Uh, we want to go outside where the monsters are. Clearly, that's where we want to be. I'm also... Oh, God. All right, my head in... Oh, no, I can't remember. <laughs> Is this the right way? Yes. Okay. Please tell me there's not going to be zombie babies. All right. A maintenance crew logbook with a blood stain. Lucas Houston, evening shift, electrical maintenance. The nurses told me that a lamp was malfunctioning in the maternity ward. When I turned on the lights, I could see that one of the bulbs in the wall was indeed flickering. As I was getting ready to change it, a man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by the shoulders, pushing me back with strength unimaginable for someone his age. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I simply left. I can't stop thinking about it. Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. Yes, I should. So this is... I can see more. Bulbs in the wall was indeed flickering. So touch the bulb in the wall that's flickering. Got it. Uh, wait, what's this? Oh, okay, so this is like the same log from the same person. Uh, okay, so yes, nails. Give me nails. Yay. What's this say? It's full of various medicines, but nothing that we can obviously use. If it's not morphine, we can't take it, apparently. Oh god. Oh god, this is creepy. What are we doing? Right, we're not going to touch this for now. Um, oh wait, that's the flickering bulb. Ooh. The water is switched off. The water is switched off, okay. Uh, right, is there any clue? Can we... The chest was left open in the middle of a procedure. The heart is missing. Oh, that's kind of creepy. There's a stable reading on the vital signs monitor. Yes, but what do I do? I don't want to kill her. She's also holding the valve, I think, that we need for that door. I don't really know. Nothing happens. Something happened. What do you mean nothing happened? I just shocked her. Do we, need, do we need to do it multiple times? I mean, one would assume. Should we just keep shocking her? <laughs> okay, well, clearly that's not the right way to do it, so... 
we need to sort of figure this out. Okay, can't yet, it seems. Right, let's uh, carry on, I suppose. Right, where was the passage? Oh god, fixed angles confuse me. Wait, is this where we need a... A photo of a nurse standing next to a patient. Just want to make sure I've explored everywhere. So where did that thing open up? Huh? Was it here? Where was it? Was it here? I can't remember. Oh yes, okay. The little room. Just gonna make sure that there's no... Yay! I can save. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Main hall. Ah. Oh great. Various mannequins are kept under these sheets. Yep. Something's gonna happen. Oh god. I might have to get my uh Is there an easy way to switch between the lighter? Oh god, I don't want to examine the mirror. I don't think I've got much of a choice. <laughs> well, here we go. Oh. Um, I don't think there's anything that we can actually use on the mirror. Maybe use a crowbar? Wait, maybe I need to equip the crowbar and smash it. Let me have a look. No. Okay, um... Right, so there's a mirror. The atmosphere is very good at this in this game, I have to say. Um, they've really done a good job in sort of recreating that classic Resident Evil type vibe, so... Um, hats off to them. I'm really impressed. Right. Oop, my wrist strap. Right. Okay, let's get our... Okay, so I'm actually stuck now. Well, no, I'm not. We could go to the waiting room. Um, however, I still... I think we could still do something here. I don't know what to do. I can't... Let, let's, can we replace it with a plastic heart? <laughs> uh, oh... Fuck. I don't know what to do. We need to lock her up. Well, since we're out of stitches, we can just lock the chest up. No. You see, I'm thinking in a very abstract way here. Right. Well, can you just chop the hand off? I'm sure there's plenty of surgical tools around. I bet we have to find the other half of the heart. And put it in there. Even though it's a plastic heart. Can we just not stitch her back together? No. Oh no, we need to use the crowbar. Damn it. <laughs> we could use the crowbar to turn the handle. There's nothing I can pick up. On the screen it says there's a stable reading. Can't do anything with that. Can't pick anything up here. And I can't interact with, you know, there's the switch that's red. Obviously doesn't work. No, I don't think I can do this yet. Um, okay. Oh, hold on, maybe here. Hmm, it's interesting that it lets you interact with it again. Let me have a look. Maybe there's like a... Something I can grab, no. Um, I honestly don't think there's anything that we can do here at the moment. But then again, I also thought the generator puzzle was bugged, so I've been wrong before. 
Um, there's water switch stuff. No, I don't think there's anything we can do in this room. Um, let's move. Oh, I don't like the zombie that's in the bloody hallway. Wait, which one am I going? Let's go this way. Right. So we can't go here because there's a weird key that we need. Um, up here, I think, is just the lock from the other side. Okay. What's this thing in the middle? I can't interact with that. Right, that's the. We can't do anything there. Right, I think the only place we can actually go is sort of the staircase thing. Here. Right, let me. Well. Please do not be any. There's zombies! Okay, time to equip the nail gun. Oh god, I don't have any bullets for it. Nails, whatever. Bollocks! Oh god! Ah! Right, there it is. Let's move out. <laughs> oh! I wish this game was first person so I can actually see. Yeah, the nightmare. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it before. Oh! Poop! What am I going to do? I don't want to waste bullets. Can I not go here? Okay, I can, I can kite it. Run! It's surprisingly fast for not having any legs. Ah! Okay. Fuck. Extra images. Which says help. End. Fuck. <laughs> no, it spits. Ah, oh, it's still alive. Okay, I wasted a nail. Well, that happened. Oh, I'm in danger. Oh, bollocks. Surgical tools, they couldn't appear to be they don't appear to be in good condition. Now's not the time to perform surgery. There better be something good here. Where are we anyway? Oh, we're in the dentist room. Oh. Oh I see, that's what takes us. Okay. I need to get my lighter out. Oh, it's got all its guts out. It's gross. Hello. Yay, nails. I will gladly take those. Alright, there's a thing. A book. Okay. William Wil uh, Wildberger's Diary. Okay. Um, as I crept quietly behind my father, the clock struck 1.30am. I saw him enter the mausoleum after placing three elements on some kind of board. He went through quietly. I followed him at a distance, trying not to make a sound, for I did not want to be caught. At Mother's Tomb, my father sank to his uh, knees and rested his hands on the cold sculpted uh, marble figure of his wife. He began praying. I felt guilty for him, seemed the cold and calculating man this, this way moved me. I was about to leave when father stood up and approached the angel statue. Mother's marble tomb moved slowly to the side and exposed a narrow staircase leading into the darkness. He climbed down the stairs. I hesitated for a moment, my legs not wanting to take another step, but was able to stand and follow him down. Once inside, I heard metallic sounds and the echo of running water. A few moments later, I bumped into a ladder. I climbed down and found myself in a long stone tunnel covered in pipes and sewage. I saw father's silhouette turning a corner and, hur and hurriedly followed. Before me appeared a huge metallic door and a group of men wearing strange suits like those worn to protect from radioactivity. Oh! Each carried a giant hammer. Oh! My father joined the group and they received him by hitting their hammers together. A hospital bed on each side of the group carried what appeared to be bodies covered in sheets. My father put, put on one of the disturbing suits. In my frightened stupor, I've used that word before, I loosened the brick from the wall. It smashed against the floor with the sound of a thousand buildings crashing down. I could feel their eyes turn to me as I fled back the way I came, their uh, guttural voices screaming to catch me while they hit their hammers on the ground. 
Okay, so we're going to be expecting radioactive suit hammer people. Great. Um, also, there's something about a statue. He went through. Oh, this tomb. Oh, this Cold stuff of the marble figure as they began prayer. Angel statue. Okay. Oh boy. Um, great. But how do we progress now? There's this thing here. Extra images with one screaming help, with various scissor symbols. But I can't do anything else to the images. There has to be something else here. I'm going to be disappointed. The drugs are neatly arranged. Also, I'm hearing weird moaning sounds. Oh, great. Morphine. I need to progress. I'm stuck. What do I do? Oh, nothing useful. Okay. This game's difficult. Right, sorry, I just got a message. Uh, it's very difficult. Hmm. I don't know. There has to be something here to be able to progress. I, I mean, the book doesn't really hit, it's just lore. But I don't understand. I can't grab any of the images other than just help. And it's interesting, like, there are scissor symbols replacing parts of some of the letters, which I'm sure is relevant. That's very interesting, though. But again, I can't, like, I've had no... Can we not interact with the tools? Yes, we know the water switched off. Oh! Oh! Yay! The heart! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Combine. Yay! Right, so we can either replace it in that person's body, or it's the mannequin. Common sense would dictate it's the mannequin torso model that it goes in, but I don't remember it missing a heart. Good. Progress. There's going to be someone outside here, isn't there? Right, that doll is creepy. Yeah, I completely agree. Right. <sighs> right. No, it's not this one, so it has to be the... Okay, I know where we need to use it. Uh, is there a way to switch to my gun? Is there a button shortcut? No, it's a bit annoying, but never mind. Right, let's quickly run off to... Right, so we should be able to replace the heart. I mean, it's quite weird that we're replacing it with a plastic heart, but anyway, if it works, it doesn't fit. Oh. I mean, I'm not completely surprised that the plastic heart would not fit or work in any way, shape, or form, but now I'm stuck. Um, well, we went to the mannequin. It didn't work on the mannequin. I'm confused. I'm so confused. So there's, it doesn't work on the torso model. I don't understand. Wait, where's the newborn room? I'm confused. So, we went to the dentist room from this way, but apparently there's another door here, but that was blocked. So where's... there's meant to be another door here. 
Oh, it's here, but that's in the way, isn't it? Yeah. Is that, can we not move it out of the way? There's the mirror room down there, which we can't do anything with the mirror. There's this body that we need to find, like an actual heart. There's a zombie in the hallway, which I really don't want to deal with. Well, we're going to have to kill the zombie. I don't want to. Oh, it's somewhere here. Um, let's go in here again. <laughs> not that I'm trying to obviously not face a zombie, but maybe there's something that we missed. All right, nothing else to do here. This is where we originally started. Wait, there's a no, bin there. Oh god, okay. No, there's nothing here. I really don't want to kill this zombie. Oh! Run. Oh, okay. Now right, let's reload. Right, okay, so we've killed everything now, so we can explore. Yeah, this place blocked. Oh, that was a waste. I didn't have to kill it then. Bollocks. Um, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. I'm not using a guide though. Right, I'm gonna go back to that torso model. There's nothing I can do here. I know what I need for that. It's the valve that that patient is holding. Wait, maybe what's this? No pharmacy window. So I know what we need to get in there. Yeah, but it's not letting us interact with it, so I can't use anything. Where the hell does the heart go? Oh. Can you lift the sheet, please? Oh. Hmm, let's go back to the dentist room. Maybe we missed something else. There's something that keeps moaning in here and I don't like it. I did defeat that thing. Yes. Hmm. We got the plastic heart. Nothing here. It's tools that we can't do anything with. Okay. Think. Anything here? Nope. I think we're going to have to go downstairs, because I can't think. There's the mirror room, but can't see the heart being used in front of the mirror, but this game is weird, so I might, I might give it a go. Maybe it will turn into a real heart, I don't know. Right. I have to try.
I'm going to try once more. I'll examine it, but... Plastic heart. Doesn't fit, okay. Oh! Candle! <gasps> Candle! Eehee! -hee. Yay! Progress! Okay, not sure if I should be celebrating because I don't know what's going to happen, but... Ah! Um... Um... <laughs> Oh shit! That's not a good idea. Great. Absolutely great. Um, right, let's get our lighter out. I didn't spot the candles. Oh god, this looks like some sort of torture room. I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen here. Oh wait, can we actually fall down? No. Where are we? I don't think we've got the map for this place. Yay, morphine. Oh! Oh! Wow, well, I just want to see where it is. Ah! Okay. Whew. Right. I suppose I should kill it. <laughs> oh, it's right there. Oh god! Oh god, I'm in danger. Morphine. <laughs> oh, can't believe that worked. Fuck. I don't have any more nails. That is actually a bit of a problem. I've got nails. So it takes about six, I would say, six or seven. Oh my god, this game is difficult. Oh, 12 nails. Thank you. Thank you for giving them to me now. Uh, oh god. I should probably use the lighter. Okay. The water. I'm sure there's something to do with this baby. Oh, plastic heart. There we go. That's incredibly creepy. Okay, is there any actual purpose to this? Other than the light turning on. Must have done something. Can't can't open it. I know there's a door there, but I just want to explore here. That is actually very creepy. But it must have done something. Maybe it opened the door. The other one. Oh. No, of course not. Interesting. Um, okay, so we can't open this. But I guess we have to go back. That baby must have done something in the other room. 
I wonder if this is linked, because it's a mirror, like an alternate dimension or whatever, I wonder if this is linked to the operating table patient person. I guess we'll go back. I can't find anything else here. Wait, it says we're in the maternity ward, but we're not. Unless it's the alternate dimension maternity ward. Which it might be. Oh! So we are, like, in a different type... We're still in the maternity ward, but either we've gone in the past or a different dimension or something. I don't know. Let's see. If something changed in the maternity ward when we go through the mirror, then my theory is somewhat vindicated. Also, I don't like this mirror. Something on the floor. Oh, it's just the rug rolled up. Let's see if something changed with the patient. Oh, it has! So it's like, okay, that's cool. Ooh. Gimme, 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 thank you. Yay. It's missing a socket. Well, we know we've got the socket for it. Yay. Alright, we know exactly where to use that. Progress! Okay. That did not sound good. I'm gonna save. Right, that's where we need to use it, but I'm gonna make a save because, you know, um, screams. Do I need to save though? I don't want, like saving seems to be quite rare. No, I'm not going to save. I'm going to keep going. The thing is, I have to remember that, you know, now that I know where to go and what to do, it's not difficult at all. So it's not a big deal if I die. It just seems like it. Ooh. Oh, we're in the main sort of foyer. Let's to explore. Ah, oh. I'm sure it's probably the Moonlight Sonata. There's a lot to check out here, so. Do we have a map? No, not this place. Well, we're in the well, we're in the main hall. Ooh, oh, oh, I see you! Yay, nails! That's where we came from. Should we just leave? Damn it! <laughs> Nothing's ever simple. Yay! I don't like the fact that it's giving me so many nails because it's trying to prepare us for something. Right, so there's another old pay phone. I thought I said old gay phones there for a minute. Something I would probably enjoy. Right. Let's have a look at the desk. Oh, I can't go through there. Is there something in this bin? It looks like something there. Um, right, is this. I don't know what this is, but we'll go there. Oh, the chapel. Let's... Oh, there's a map, though. I kind of want to explore this floor first before moving up or down. Um, there was another door here, wasn't there? So that's the door with the cross. What about this place? It's locked from the other side. Okay. Can we interact with this? These drawers? No. Well, the only other door is here, and it looks like we're going to have to equip our trusty old nail gun, which I shall do now that we've got 26, well, 36 nails in total. I'm just going to wait for her to auto-aim. These are bloody fast!
Oh, it's dead. Fuck. Reload. Oh, I keep wasting a nail. Also, there seems to be multiple ones here. I want the map. Nice. Okay, so there's the main hall, the archives, kitchen. Hello! What's this? Oh! Oh, Tetris! Where is it? So wait a second, where are we? Okay, so we're heading... Right, there's the key. There's a lift here. And then to the left, okay. Oh, hello. Ah! Okay. Right, I'm not gonna shoot it again until it actually, until she auto aims. Right. Right, good, because I don't want to waste, don't want to waste ammo. Okay. Oh, a, sm a smashed statue of Jesus. It looks like it fell off the cross. Well, that's not good, is it? Uh... Oh, I can actually... Oh, I need a coin. Okay. So let's have a look at the map. So there's the lift. No, that's the studio. What? Oh, okay, the lift is further down. Oh, okay, we've got the saving thing. Well, we won't save yet. Because, like I said, I haven't really done that much. Um, although, I will explore the room. Shotgun shells! There's only one problem. We're missing the shotgun. You shouldn't have come here. Well, you sent us the postcard. Yes. So where does this take us? So that should take us... Okay, that's... Well, I don't want to progress further than here. Let's go back and explore the previous area. So the place has now really opened up. Blimey. Oh, we got another record. Good. I don't want to win. I don't want to use one yet, though. Look. Right, so the lift should be here. Yes. It's kind of. Oh, hello. Oh. Interesting. Um. Can she climb up on it? No. I think I have to maybe put it in the lift. Okay. I guess I can't do anything with that unless I can push it. No. Um, so this now should be taking us to the closet and kitchen. Okay. This is giving me nightmares. How can it be the Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So we can put stuff in there. It's freezing cold. Yeah, freezers tend to be. So I guess we need to put something. Okay, that's good to know. You won't leave this place. That's reassuring. Charred remains. Are these human bones? What the hell is going on here? So where, where was this? So we should be heading into the warehouse. Let's just do another round real quick, because it's very easy to miss stuff in this game. Okay.
Ah! Ah! Uh. No, I don't want to quit the nails. <laughs> no. Okay, it's dead. These things are so creepy. Oh no, I'm low on nails again. Crap, I've only got enough to like kill one. Oh, wait, where did this take us? Take us into like, oh, I think it might be heading into the closet. I don't know. There has to be something here though. Door security system. Insert disk to write new keyword. I don't have a disk. Oh my god, I don't have anything. Nails, yay. How many? Please let it be 12. What? One nail? I can't be right, what the fuck? I just got trolled. I literally just got trolled. Oh, a bottle of nitric acid that can corrode metal over time. Yay. Being a chemist, I, I, I use nitric acid quite a lot. I like it. It's quite a nice acid, actually. I think it works nicely with copper. Get a nice little demonstration where you form nitrogen oxide and um, copper nitrate, and you get the nice blue mist. It's really nice. I like it. Right, so I don't really know, we need to corrode metal, so did we find something? Oh, I think I know where that might be. There was, in the mirror, there was that handle that was all, like, rusty and stuff. I Maybe they want you to use it on that, I don't know. I don't think so, that's a bit far-fetched. But... Let's go through here. Oh, door unlocked. Wait, door unlocked? Where, where, where would this take me? The chapel. I'm so confused. Oh, an iron door knocker shaped like a hand holding a ball. I, I'm kind of not sure where we are. Oh! I see, we're on the other side of that door. I don't like that grounding sound. So where's this then? That's the closet. Um, a battery can fit here. We don't have a battery. Eh. One nail again. What? Why is it giving us one nail at a time? Oh, bugger. Alright, so we can't do anything here other than battery. Hmm. One sec, I just need to... Got like a message, new property. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm looking at buying a place, but... This seems like shit. Nope, not what I'm looking for. Um, <laughs> let's have a look, just making sure it isn't what I'm looking for. Nope. Okay, right, let's move on. So we've got the ball on a hand thing. Um, we've got the disc. I think we need to move to a different floor. There's the kitchen. I'm going to try putting the nitric acid in the freezer in case it needs to be cold. I, you know, since we're here. Um, it's silly, but... Right, it doesn't fit. Right, just wanted to check. Uh, we've also got that padlock still. Right, 
Okay, so we've unlocked this. Okay, which takes us to the warehouse. The closet is the battery. We've got the computer there where we need the disc. We've got the studio, which takes us to other places. We still have to look at the lift as well. And we've got the other floors in the main hall. So there's a lot that we need to do, that we can do. Um, let's go here. Right, I think this is a good time to save. Um, anything here? Because I'm going to make lunch soon. and I don't want to sort of wander off too far. Right. So we can we can make progress. I'm a little bit worried about the lack of ammo because I think we've only got enough to kill one. Um, hello? There we go. nice awesome game so far like i said it's it they've really done a good job of encapsulating the original resident evil type um vibe really really enjoying it it's nice to sort of go back in time a bit and um you know feed the nostalgia um or nostalgia i guess that's how you say it. anyway it's nice to sort of uh play these styles of games once more and it looks it looks good it feels good um it's definitely creepy and they've done a good job with that, so it's also got that sort of quirkiness and cheesy nature that the original Resident Evil had, which is always welcome. But that's what they're going for, I'm assuming. Um, okay, so we've got this. Let's just examine this before I go in the event that maybe I need to do something. It's got a hook. Uh, I still don't know what this is for, or why we would... Oh, it's a combination padlock, but... Yeah, we... Oh, okay. We actually need to find the combination for it. But I haven't... Once I open it, then what? So, actually... Oh, no. We need to look at old files, because we got this padlock a while ago. Maybe it's... Was it 130? I can't remember what the... Oh, I can't remember. I need to look at the files. Shit. Oh, I need to look at the files. Oh. There was definitely something to do with time. No, I don't think it's that. I just need to look for a number. So wait, that's the maintenance logbook, clipboard. Right, 11.34 maybe? Yeah. 11.34. I'm kind of grasping at straws here, but we got that lock a long time ago and we never really seen it so the only thing we've got so far i'm not gonna go by the date that's a bit crazy 11 34 right let's just try to, uh wait get the time should we try 12 35 again Because I think that's what we used. I can't remember where we got it from. But let's try 1235 again. And see if that opens it. So. Oops. 1235. Let's try 11.34. Oops. No. Okay. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Okay, so we've got the lock, we've got this, and we've got the acid. I think I might know where the acid is used, like I said, in that door past the mirror, but 
Um, we've still got plenty of places to explore, so I'm not too worried. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, as much as I have, I look forward to playing again real soon. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.